With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have given an expression and we have to find the value of n. So the expression given to us is we have 9 raised to power n into 3 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power n minus 27 raised to power n in denominator we have 3 raised to power 3 whole power 5 into 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 1 by 27. We have one property that is x raised to power a whole power b will be equal to x raised to power a into b. The powers will be multiplied. So we have and writing this 9n as 3 square because 9 is 3 square whole power n. So it will be written as 3 raised to power this will multiply. So 2 into n is 2n. So writing this 9 as as we have 3 raised to power 2n into 3 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power n minus of writing this 27 raised to power n as 3 whole square whole power n because 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 so 3 power 3 so as we have discussed the property above we can write it as 3 raised to power 3n and writing this 27 raised to power n as 3 raised to power 3n upon we have this 3 raised to power 3 and whole power 5 can be written as from this property as 3 into 5 and into 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 1 by 27. So we have 3 raised to power 2n into 3 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power n. So we have a property that a raised to power x into a raised to power y. This can be because the bases are same so in multiplication the powers will be added so writing this whole term as we have because the bases are same in all the three we have adding the powers 2n plus 2 plus n minus of 3 raised to power 3n upon we have 3 raised to power 3 into 5 is 15 so 3 raised to power 15 into 2 raised to power 3 and 1 upon this 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3 because 27 is 3 into 3 into 3. So 3 raised to power 2n plus n is 3n plus 2 and minus of 3 raised to power 3n. And we just cross multiply this. We have 3 raised to power 15 into 2 raised to power 3 upon we have 3 raised to power 3. So we have 3 raised to power 3n if we take 3 raised to power 3n common from here we have left with 3 raised to power 2 because in multiplications the powers will be added so minus of and we have left with 3 raised to power 3n if we have taken common then we have left with 1 here and we have a property that a raised to power x upon a raised to power y if the bases are same then in division the powers will be subtracted so 3 raised to power 15 upon 3 raised to power 3 so we have 3 raised to power 15 minus 3 according to this property we have just subtracted the powers because bases are same and they are in division into 2 raised to power 3 is 2 raised to power 3 is nothing but 8 so 2 raised to power 3 is 8 Similarly, we have 3 raised to power 2 is 9. So we have 3 raised to power 3n into 9 minus 1 is 8 is equal to 3 raised to power 15 minus 3 is 12 into 8. So this 8 and this 8 will cancel out. So we have 3 raised to power n and 12 because the bases are same. So we can directly equate the powers. So we have 3n is equal to 12. So the value of n will be 12 upon 3. We have just divided it by 3. So 3 1s are 3 4s are. So the final value of n will be equal to 4. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.